Good morning, you guys. Um, well, it's morning for me. I don't know when you're watching this, but uh, I have a little spring day out today. I am going to get my brows done, which is quite the risk over here. Um, and I'm gonna go to my friend's house to do some work. Um, she's also a blogger, her name's Ashley Robertson. I don't know if you guys follow along with her, but she's pregnant, she's the cutest thing ever. Great style, beautiful house, everything's just on point. So uh, yeah, I just thought I would get ready with you guys and I'm gonna show you my outfit, I'm gonna be doing my hair, like pretty much everything I'm getting like full ready, so thought this would be a good opportunity. I usually do like night get ready's I feel like. So, um, okay, starting with my Hourglass foundation. This is the um, Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation and I am in the shade Honey. I did a little demo of this over on my Instagram stories and I've added it to my highlights. So if you missed it, you can go over there and check it out. But I love this foundation. I feel like it gives you like this airbrushed like angel skin and I've been loving it lately. It's a really unique texture. Almost kind of like, not moussey, but in a way. Um, but I just spread it out like really thin on my face and down my neck and I love it. It just looks like super airbrushed and it looks really perfected and glowy without being dewy, which is, I, I do love dewy, but um, this one for some reason, like I get oil throughout the day and it's just nice to not have to like powder or touch up or anything. So if you're oily, I feel like you'd like this um, or if you're combination, you'd like it too. It's no surprise here. I love this concealer so much and I feel like it is, a more hydrating version of Shape Tape. And I've been actually using like a bigger brush to blend out my concealer lately. This is the Sephora Collection uh, Pro number 56. It is amazing. Just makes it way faster. I'm ne very nervous about this brow appointment. Um, as you guys know, if you kind of are around here on my channel a lot, I clearly have very thick brows and I'm terrified to let anyone touch them because they just are very hard to shape because they're really thick. There's a lot of hair to work with and I feel like people screw them up really easily because if you don't know what you're doing, they're like, they might make them really like arched or really insane. It's just like, no, I, I just can't. So I tend to just do them at home by myself because I get so frustrated um, because I never like the shape, but I was like, you know what? I really need to get my brows done before Coachella. And, oh, this is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, by the way, with um, in the shade Fair. And I just put like a little bit underneath my eyes for brightness. Um, yeah, but before Coachella, like I just really wanted to have them done because I'm gonna be taking so many pictures at Coachella. And, it's like, yeah, just it's like having an event. You just like want them to be perfect. And so I was like desperate and I started looking through the, as you guys know, I live in Dallas. So I started looking through the DFW hashtag of DFW brows. That's where I started looking. And I came across this one brow and it was, I mean, absolutely beautiful. It was the prettiest brow I've ever seen. Look at that brow. Oh my God, that is, that is exactly what I want. Um, so I'm hoping she can, you know, tame these bad boys. I still obviously want them thick, but I just need them shaped and perfected. So I am very excited to see the potential of what she can do. And it's gonna be quite lovely. So Micro Smooth Baked Face Powder. This is my favorite powder in the world. If you need like a, a nice, like lightweight powder, this is your, baby and it's not super expensive and um it also is really great if you don't like to wear foundation and you just want to use it by itself it actually is like technically a foundation powder even though it's very lightweight and it just looks like real skin like it it is the nicest powder ever and it just looks so natural but 
also has like a really nice finish and like sets everything. I can't describe it, but it's really nice. Sponsor is Anastasia Rosewood. No surprise here, folks. Um, but I love this bronzer so much. I like try to use other bronzers and I'm like, what the heck? Why does why do I look different? I couldn't figure it out. I just love the tone of this one. It's like honestly the perfect, perfect color in between too warm and too cool. So yeah. Anyway, so yes, I don't know if I told you guys, but I am going to Coachella, which is very exciting. It's my first year ever going, so it's going to be quite interesting. Um and I normally go to Stagecoach because I'm like a country music girl. I also, I mean, I like all types of music, honestly. You guys know if you follow the vlogs, Hunter is a music guy. And um, we like, honestly, all types of music. So we're really quite open, but we love country, obviously. We live in Texas. He's a Texas boy. So um, yeah, we, we just like love country music. So I've traditionally like always gone to um, stagecoach every year so it's kind of weird to not be going to that for the first time but I'm excited to go to Coachella just from like you know a new experience perspective we're gonna like probably meet so many people um, work with like a lot of different brands and I feel like there's just more going on at Coachella like a lot of you know events and parties and there is for stagecoach too but it's not like I don't feel like it's the same. I don't know, I've actually never gone to Stagecoach. Like, I feel like I just usually go with my friends. I never like work with brands or anything when I'm there, but that might be a different experience. Anyways, so yeah, it's gonna be cool. And I'm going with a few of my blogger friends. Um, you guys, I not, won't like list them off. There's honestly like four of them. So it's a lot of different names, but I will be introducing you guys in the Coachella vlog. You probably, a few of them I went to LA with. If you watched my um, LA weekend, it's a vlog, it's called um, LA with Vloggers. And I went to um, LA with a few blogger friends that I met actually at New York Fashion Week and I had never like hung out with them. And we literally just did like a blind, trip like let's just go meet and hang out and they became like some of my best friends so that was really cool and um so we're gonna meet up again at coachella we're doing getting like a house and everything and it's gonna be really fun and obviously hunter is coming we're vlogging the whole thing um and we're very excited so right i'm blabbering but i'm using the dior glow palette actually on my eyes and i used my becca luminous blushes um, on my cheeks. I feel like I need a little bit more of the peachy ones. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that These are um, the shade Snapdragon and Snapdragon and Foxglove and they are One's like really peachy and one is more like baby pink So yeah, so they look like but they will make you look like a glowing angel from within and They're so pretty. I've been if you guys have been wondering how I've been like getting that glow, it's all in the blushes, I promise. Um, and then I just used a little bit of that Dior Glow Palette on my eyes. I think I'm gonna also run some bronzer through my eyes. I usually do that on an everyday basis. Nothing too fancy. Very nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Benefit Ga Bad Gal Bang. Very on theme for today because I'm going to Benefit to get my brows done. And I just put the mascara just on the outer third on the bottom because I feel like it transfers down to my concealer. Like all mascaras do that on me. I can't avoid it. I've tried so many different ones and it just happens. So I don't know what it is. Okay, for lips. Um, I am gonna go in with Laura Mercier's two lip liners in Naked and Hazelnut. Also showed these on my Instagram. And then my Kiko um, gloss in O2. This is like not available in the US, so I buy it on Amazon. And I found out about it from Sophia and Chinzia, who are like my favorite British babes here on YouTube. By the way, my sister got a pig, a baby pig, which is like my ultimate life goal is to get a baby pig. I want one so bad. 
and it is so cute. She sends me pictures of it in the bath. Oh my God. Honestly, like the cutest thing in the world. And she named him Banana. I'm like, could it get any cuter? I don't think so. Then I just take hazelnut tea, which is like a one step up from naked. And I kind of like line the center and then the very sides just to like <clears throat> overline a little bit and contour. Which looks kind of nice matte, but I always can't stay away from the gloss, so. I like to use the gloss to kind of blend the liners. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, Marine Boosting Mist and spray my face. I'm glowing to the gods, I'm ready for my makeup and I'm gonna go below dry my hair and do my hair, so let's do that. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do my hair lately. I've been using this Sephora Collection Iron. It's a little bit bigger. It's probably one and a quarter inch. Typically, I use just a um, a one inch iron, but I've been using this one, and I'm liking a little bit of a softer wave. It just gives, like, I feel like the one inch is just, even though I find thin hair and it's really straight, this doesn't really hold that well, but the one inch just makes it too curly. So see this, it's like very soft. I just let it cool. I honestly like curl it in five seconds, like basically three curls on each side because my hair is so thin. So I just curl and I leave a couple inches out at the end. And then I'm gonna uh, clip in two little extensions. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna let it cool. I'm not gonna brush it out yet. I'm going to spray with some of Bumble and Bumble's Strong Finish Hairspray. Here's my two wefts. These are from the hair shop. <clears throat> also get a lot of questions about these extensions. I'm gonna brush a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do a soft brush through. And see how it's just like a very soft wave. The bigger iron is key. It definitely will fall faster, but it's fine. I just prefer it. Um, okay, so lots of questions about my hair extensions. They're from the hair shop. And they are just really nice quality is why I like them. Um, and the color options are amazing. Like they have literally every color you could ever want. So that's what's nice. I really like the color matches like dead on to my hair. And they're already curled because I always, I just clip them in like on the sides. They just give me a little bit of fullness. There you go. Okay, so hair and makeup, it's finito. Let's go find an outfit. Okay, sorry, my room is kind of messy in my office, but I think this is what I'm gonna wear. I kind of want to be comfortable, but you know. So, wearing my sneakers, Balenciaga. These jeans, I've gotten so many questions about. They're from Zara. They were like only $40, and I love them. I just love like the wash and everything. They're really cute. Top is from Nasty Gal. It's like this like satin, really pretty top. It was in my Nasty Gal haul. And then this amazing, amazing oversized yellow blazer. It's not looking as yellow on camera, but it's like a very baby yellow. Got it from Zara and it's an extra small. It's super oversized and I love it so much. So I'm obsessed with it. And I feel like this is like a cute casual look for springs. Okay, here's the finished hair and makeup. This is with better lighting, but you can see the hair is just very soft, very like everyday, and I feel like the iron just really does the job. And then these earrings are from H&M. Um, I got them in a vlog recently. It should have been up by now. You guys would have seen me on the shopping trip to H&M. I got a ton of earrings, so if you wanna see a little haul in that video, you can go check that out. But, um, and then I always get questions about my other earrings. These are from Lily Clasp, the ones in the middle. 
and then these little dangly ones with the stud are from Majuri. So I always get questions about my rings. So these are both from Miranda Fry. This is like the Cobra one and this is a pinky ring. And um, you can just use the code JULIA in all caps for 10% off. This ring is just from Princess Polly. It's like a chunky gold um, and then my wedding ring. So anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next few days in my next video and you can follow along on IG stories for real time updates. Mwah! Hey, sorry, I'm back. I know I just ended that, but I actually decided to change. I feel like this is just a little bit more me. So top is still from Nasty Gal and I switched out my docs for my sneakers and yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this is more me and more the vibe I was going for. So that's the update.